put up child support. Well, my mom been supporting me, my her money, her money since I was a kid. So, and my um inheritance. So. <laughs> I just got to get my real identity. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. What's good? I'm Kiva. We'll come get this commentary and we're going to come get this nosy, okay? So, as you see, I've been putting out content because I'm trying to get caught up. Um, I've My schedule has changed. I'm working two different hospitals. I have um, a larger breastfeeding support group that I volunteer my time at every other Saturday for two hours. Like, I've been busy, but I miss doing YouTube. I love doing YouTube. So you will be getting some random videos and some live streams. Oh, <laughs> that's Satan. Um, if you're a member of the channel, it starts as low as, I believe it's either 99 cent or 199. I post stuff on my members. I'm going to try to do a members live. Um and just kick it with y'all, but I appreciate all my members. I saw one person join this week. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm like, let me, let's be nosy, okay? Because we're going to be nosy. Let's see what your girl over there learned about. I saw she got on her Christian wig. Maybe it's her April Fool's wig, honey. I don't know, but she had she had on a wig and a hat. You know, she feeling fancy, Okay. So let's get over here and be nosing and see what we're talking about. Really quickly, shout out to Healing Within. Um, she clipped this part of Jaguar stating that Aaliyah, child, I don't let the girl lies get into my head, that Leviticus, okay, Linguini, liar, <laughs> Legina has moved out and is living on the south side of Texas or wherever. Um, Ma'am, as we watch this reaction video that I'm doing to Legina's live yesterday, you hear people in the background. Now, that's not to say that with absolute proof that that was jaguar sam or the mother but it sounded like her regular background that she's been in which leads me to believe she still live with y'all but if legina did pack up and get the fuck on she left y'all in the midst of an eviction and said this ain't for me okay i gotta go and i ain't mad at her mad at her but what was irritating my soul was some things she said in this video, and we'll get to it in a second. No, Legina has relocated to the South. She found a place that she wants to get for herself. That's a 30-year-old woman we talking about. She can live wherever she wants. She can go wherever she wants. What I find interesting is, is we let things die down a little bit. We let the time go by. And where is that family at that was so concerned that rather than going to the police or going to the authorities because they thought she was being trafficked, instead they went to YouTubers who have absolutely no legal authority and no ability to rescue anyone. First of all, it's interesting that we got an age on her. Is she 30? Because I thought we didn't know her age. I thought we was calling her approximates. She wasn't approximately 27, 28, 29, 30. So she's 30. Um, are you caught up in a lie or is that a guesstimate? It doesn't matter. Number two, what do you mean she, her family ran the YouTubers? <laughs> her family that I still don't know if we've truly verified, we've spoke to the family, but I think some of them were her family, basically have all said she needs help and she's a liar, okay? Um, that she wasn't trafficked, okay? That they didn't think she was being trafficked per se. Now, now maybe I missed a couple of interviews because I didn't watch every single one, but they realize the girl is nuts 
but she's not that crazy. She's not real crazy. She wanna be in the mess. She wanted to be viral. They did try to get her help. They put her in a mental institute. Okay, we saw it on TikTok because she was upset that they came to the house. You are a YouTuber, Jaguar. You chose to dip your nose in business that did not belong to you. You took it upon yourself to be Laguina's savior. And um, Sean, give her my information. She's you're gonna need a lawyer. We again, we still ain't got that lawyer. Mm -hmm. Still ain't got that lawyer because had you got a lawyer. Um, as you stated, we let shit lie down during the lie down. And I don't know when the hell nothing lied down except when you was locked up, okay? And you couldn't get a lawyer then. You should have got money, got her a lawyer, got R. Kelly tested, got um, Aaliyah's family members tested. But you know they not going to play with you or that girl. So you're just running this game, but it's starting to spiral out of control because, boom, you've lost your husband in the midst of it openly online and you don't like how that feels okay we gonna get into that too because old girl did leak a pic of her giving head okay um it wasn't any length so it probably i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm 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 say it was soft when she was getting it up because that's not a very a stretch in between that that that's too, never mind anyway i'm just talking shit because i'm petty like that and then i want to but anyway we got to talk about that okay um i think this is bitterness but don't you dare come up here and say youtubers that couldn't help her you ain't helped her you ain't helped her she still got on a bad wig she's still dressing like um a little old lady she still have not came through with no receipt on nothing y'all claiming. So what exactly did you help her do? Hop all across the internet like you do? You want everybody's panel but your own making money. Everybody else get views off of you. I have. But you are a topic. You are a topic of conversation. Anyone can be a topic of conversation. I've been dragged on YouTube. I do not care. It doesn't make me none. When I get dragged, bitch, I'll make a shirt about it. <laughs> but it was the audacity for me. So, honey, let's get on over into Linguini and her lies and mess on the interwebs from last night. Your name Shiani or Shayani? Hey to you. Hey, amazing love. Oh, I'm O Sammy. I mean O A actually. Had it. How have you been? I miss you. Mom, um, Bills, I miss you too. I've been alright. What's up, famous daughter? Mom and the daughter. What? Nothing much. You get you have a place to stay. I have a room. On discreet. I appreciate it. Intro, please just call your parents. You mean my dad and Previn? Moni Heather is on. Yeah. She girl, hey, good afternoon to you too. How's Jack doing? She doing? She's coping well, I feel like. She's been through a lot of things. Oh, okay. Why don't it seem lower than what it is? Okay. So, yep, he did. He did do that. He said she on me. Aw. I'm gonna let her get her space because, you know, that's what, you know, how she grew up and that's a pattern. She know how to come to us when she needs. Oh, you yeah, can barely hear me. Not saying, like, she's more strong than y'all know. I don't want to interrupt her peace right now. Hey, LOL. Hey. How y'all doing? What? 
<clears throat> why my spirit is giving me she around here cussing everybody out and i'm just trying to stay out her way i'm just let her have her peace child i i feel like legina knows she fucked up but she can't go back like she can but she don't have anything maybe support like her family may feel that she's too far gone and or she don't have a way to get control of her money like i don't i don't know if i'm wording it right like i don't think jag is taking her money but i think jag is feeling like you owe me your money because i'm believing in you that you're Aaliyah and r kelly's daughter and i'm giving you this exposure and probably feeding her some if you just work with me we'll get it because let's let's get to it still ain't got a lawyer and i'm gonna say it again when 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 she came to youtube jaguar said sean give her my information because you're gonna need a lawyer okay she was talking all professional like she had this together ain't got no lawyer ain't nobody been served with no dna testing paperwork so it can be done professionally not through ancestry.com but okay you know i'm here for the results of that too um we still don't see legina um getting her shit together you would think if she's with jag okay jag told her you want to come stay with me because you're allegedly under a not assault but you're being stalked or whatever okay you voluntarily had a grown woman a grown stranger come to you and now legina is here like damn this shit is crazy i thought i was gonna be with the hollywood peoples no honey you with regular kinfolk like us yeah, that didn't work out too good. But I really feel she's stuck. Those, yes, they're back on, yeah. You see the little pettiness you do? Miss Katrina, my name is Love, but and thank you for your compliments. Yeah, that's good. Y'all, why I thought that beeping my middle name, Lila, was my alarm going off in the house. That's why in the beginning of the video you saw me jump. We didn't know it's Lila from my great 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 our sisters back in the day so yeah we still he's going to some of us at the moment i don't listen to what he says so i don't know i don't talk to him happy to show you like right here somebody said i mean money you said where is sam i am and then i like green eggs and ham dr seuss that was a good shit back there I don't I don't follow what he said, so I don't know. Maybe he said it, maybe he didn't, maybe he did. I don't know what's now. Yeah, I find out the bar the other night. It was a Italian fancy thing. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed myself and yeah, I'm glad. Same with Jag as far as she finally like feel she seemed more relaxed, so that's good and having fun and then she took me to a jamaican bar or jamaican club type it was interesting it was interesting it was a vibe though he said the black guy oh black guy Damn. the guy at the bar looked like he like oh the black guy Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. That wasn't the vibe I was uh, going for anyway that night. So.
Yeah, that's for you. You right. That's a good idea. A couple people could take that idea too. That'll work. The idea of enjoying the holidays. You need to. You need it. Oh wait, let me try. Yeah, Detroit ain't it. And it ain't safe for me anyway. And not safe. I got obsessed weirdos over there too. Some of it's good, but those motherfuckers. Don't be talking bad on your city that raised you, girl. Bad advice she carries said have your own way. Almost. Then I kind of ask you a question. So, um, you can, but it seems like you said this before. It's like deja vu. Yeah, you can ask them, ask them something. I'll be discreet if I should answer it or not. It's my discretion, up to my own discretion. Money, like, go ahead. You wanna, you wanna see the question too? Yeah. Are you still claiming to be Drake, baby mama? We got more ties than y'all know. It's not claims. Why you still... First of all, her fucking mumbling, bitch. Open your fucking mouth and speak beyond your teeth. Oh, child. She said, why you still claiming to be Drake baby mama? The fact that she say that shit with a straight face and 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 just <laughs> that shit just kills me like you stick she's sticking to your lord she's sticking to it <sighs> i'm like wow every time i gotta i probably need to stop watching her but i love the mess who here for the mess put them here for the mess bitch i'm here for the mess it's hard to say because it's unbelievable and it's something that is like it's hard to say you you said it hey discreet i know people gonna think you cap i'm capping and probably think you're getting delusional or crazy or whatever this is just it is what it is facts and i feel like he should be the bigger man and just Say it because in the day he did a lot of things by his own self. Ooh, child. I don't know. No. Ooh. No way. Wow. I wasn't claiming anything. Drake should be the bigger man. The right word. Yeah. But then you're gonna realize these rich people don't they act like they wanna be in a soap opera so bad, so they do weirdo shit and then is reality and then they want to put it they want to put it in a little is she not doing weirdo shit all these allegations with no drop of proof just like jag jag no jag know every fucking thing in the industry she knows everybody's business but yet she didn't know that her husband was sent to be her handler allegedly okay she yeah i can't she's look Legina is learning from jag about this habitual lying and i ain't gonna lie the drama keeps me sucked in to watch and to listen to see what else crazy she gonna say oh side note why don't somebody with some money, I get it, y'all evicted, no lights, no gas, you're struggling, barely making it. Is some acne cream out there? Get her face together. Get her out that greasy ass wig, them dirty synthetic wigs, they break your hair out, okay? Or get you a good quality synthetic wig. She shouldn't have a little ha hat on because the top of it's raggedy and we throw the little hat on because the lace is messed up. 
She's been there long enough to have got her shit in her appearance together. Now, I get it. Sometimes acne it, it, is hormonal. You can try all the things and your face won't clear up. We've seen her face cleared up. She has this, this cocoa colored skin and we've seen it clear. Okay. Her skin color is beautiful, but it doesn't look like they make an attempt to have her put together. And I'm not talking about Louis Vuittons. Just put together. They just put on it. She just go on the internet like, fuck it. Hello, it's me. A little secret, a little box. Like, it's not going to come out one day. Can you tell us more about the industry? It's very corrupt. It's very corrupt. If you ever watch soap opera, they do weird shit as far as, like... I just want to choke the trolls. Like, some of these people, you know, you run... In the comments, encouraging They're actually nerds and geeks. So they got very high intelligence, but then they have like a complex of where they felt powerless before. So then they want to control other people. And that's what they do to us in the mass and all around the world. These people, you know, their private island, they will take people to their private islands. And some people not even aware that they get taken there because some people are hypnotized or some people experience trauma and they forget. And then some people are okay with it, and then some people still remember certain shit. And it is is they have money. If it's if it's not a lack of that, they don't have anything else to do. They really bored, and then they they take it to the streams and see. And a lot of people they do things in public. A lot of people wouldn't be aware of like majority of these industries like uh record labels or modeling agencies or in a uh, tv show or film agency these people are prostituted out they go they have to go to little free parties and do weird shit and some of them is cool with it but then that's just the you know the appropriate one then they have the kids in there they involve kids that need uh, they need help from adults and it's in every sector of any industry, whether it's in the modeling agency, whether it's in music or the law agency, I mean, industry, it's just a lot. It is vast. And people, yeah, it is. Like, I admire confidence, but then I know it's, will feel degrading to some things and that's not that's the least of it that's the least of it i'm just looking thank god i'm just looking for i'm just looking up at the comments Oh, thank you, so sister. Yeah. The thing is, we gonna we gonna wait. I ain't going nowhere. So y'all, if y'all trying to say Sue, I am going nowhere. Y'all gonna see, and then y'all gonna eventually see. I wasn't just talking on my ass. Oh, da da da. Because I know. Because if you really know me. I don't go around just claiming things I don't know about because, well, actually, I did for as far as the past life I was, I, like, saying my second family was my parents. Yeah, I was claiming them, even though that wasn't true. They know my biological parents, but still. Girl. Ooh, you look just yeah, like man. your mama. And it's, it's like, why do I have to deal with all this? Like, out of the action of somebody else's, it just her. Rich girl, WC, can't wait to see this. Yeah, y'all gonna see it. Y'all gonna see it. And then I'm not gonna be the only one, though. It's gonna be other people that have kids. She said, why do I have to do it all? Why you have to tell all the lies by yourself while you're the only one out here lying? And do not fucking bring up the, the love child of LL Cool J. He is a comedian. He do skits. Shit. 
shit. Oh, Jesus. Like, I know now it's people that have super kids. And you'd be surprised who the parents are. It's like, dang. Like, I know with mine, it was like, dang, but I'm living in it. But for the other people, it's like, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's what people with baby, well, females have baby mom, but they don't show their baby daddy. And you like, who's the kid's father? Yeah, you'd be surprised who the daddy is. I'm like, dang, y'all. They like my dad, too. I'm like, I know his other kids, too. And I'm like, the world don't know, though, but I know. It's like, dang, why y'all hiding the kids? Um, I'm going to do a video with my dad. I mean, for my dad to speak to him. Maybe he's watching and, you know, maybe he's watching and he will see the video I reach out and he might respond. You know, your baby. Oh, Jesus. They take, they took my eggs and they, the thing about the, um, being in, you know, like the dark webs and stuff or the black market. I don't know if I'm going to get flagged for this because they keep trying to monitor what I say, but they, they organ harvest a lot of organs and they take people's, like, that's why I said it was a lot of, um, if you look at my videos, it was a lot of black women, missing women and children. And they getting organ harvested by these weird ass elites and other people that got money to do shit because they don't got to be elites. They might be somewhere in the country somewhere and then they just got money and then they do organ harvesting. So it's, it's a lot of weird shit. I could have swore I heard her say they yeah, took her in. Yeah, I appreciate it. And the thing is, I'm logical too. So I'm glad a lot of y'all was like, okay, I need the receipts. I need to see it because I feel that too. If I was in y'all shoes, I'd be like, yeah, I can't. But I also open minded enough to be like, yeah, anything can happen. So I'd just be in and out at this point. I wouldn't. All that being open minded that anything can happen. Okay. Okay. For the benefit of the fucking doubt, yes. Anything can happen. Anything is possible. But when you're on the worldwide internet alleging lying on two superstars, doesn't matter how horrible R. Kelly is, he is a superstar in his own right, a musical genius. His name, Aaliyah, superstar, genius, right? You've named two people, high profile people, and no one has taken the time to acknowledge anything you said except Jaguar, except Jaguar and some and us YouTubers. Not taking your word, we just listening and commentating. Jaguar took you at your word. You haven't even been picked up by mainstream media, the local news, 247, Fox. It's strictly been social media. So that obviously goes to speak to the validity. This is my opinion by her not even being picked up by mainstream media outside of social media. I'm talking about your local news when you when you get shot and when it's a recall and we cut that news on to watch it you've not made it there could you still make it there maybe but it's been two months and you've been telling the same lies you even attacked sada baby in a lie and he ain't said nothing now do he move in silence probably and you might hear from him and his goons at a later date honey i don't know maybe you should stay out of detroit but eyes are everywhere so no one's gonna just um with all that anything's possible yeah but nobody's trying to fuck with you i think if Aaliyah's family felt in their heart that one 
Aaliyah did have a child, just that she had a kid or that she, um, yeah, that she had a kid. They would want to have Aaliyah's child in their life. They've not batted a lash. Then the man <clears throat> whose daughter you're alleging you are in that picture, that that's you as a child, that's been debunked. You still got the picture of like it's you. So that continuously makes you look mentally ill. But also on the side of mental illness, we know that you were in a special ed class, okay? And you have to have qualifications for special ed services. And you qualified. Whether it was mild or severe, you tested out to need special ed. He was in Special Olympics, okay? In order to be in a Special Olympics, you test out at whatever range and level it is. We're listening to you. You talk and sound logically how you move and pro how we look at you process. It's giving slow. That's just what it is. It's just giving slow, right? So that's not to say you <laughs> aren't like, like that doesn't make you a bad person. It just confirms what the proof was already put out. No one's trying to fuck with you. Sue me. Why would they sue you? I've said this multiple times in multiple videos. I highly doubt anyone will sue you because there's no validity to your claims. Why would they waste thousands of dollars, maybe millions, to test your DNA, Aaliyah's uh, mother, father, whoever the closest to Aaliyah, and R. Ke R. Kelly is sitting still. They can go get him. They won't even test R. Kelly, and he locked up. No one believes you, but you out here hoping this lie will spark something and catch, and you got jag ass, I guess, is the gateway for it. And it's still, if Jan can stay out of jail, maybe. Y'all need stable housing. You need a job. Like, literally, we're all trying to figure out what's the end game. Are you permanently moving in with Jag to be her mother's caretaker? I bet you, I bet, I bet you that ain't what you thought was going to happen when you got with Jag. You saw a free ticket to Hollywood. Oops, you're bad. You are a whole CNA out here, basically. Giving up your money. Let me get $40 on cash app. I'm going to need the car. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. You're not out here living your best life. Okay? Okay. Cast a judgment or anything. If it was me, personally. Because I know how weird the world get. And I know I still, I got to see it to believe it, too. And then with me, I'm like, for me, I'm like, I, when I was younger, they were made to seem like I was crazy. Then I had to follow along with everybody was telling me to say. And then eventually I believed it. And then now I have to question my own uh, mental, too. And... It's a process, too, because I'm confused. I got to find my identity. I know I sound crazy, but it's like, why do I have to deal with this shit, too? Shy girl. I will, but I'm also in the process of doing other things, like rebranding, uh, too. So, and then also doing mentorships. Hold up. Let's, uh, I, 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 I. <laughs> Girl, I know you didn't just say mentorships. What? This man cheats. I thought, oh man, I thought that shirt said this man lies. Cheating and lying run together. Ma'am, who you gonna mentor? What? Are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Think Are you, dumb. like, medically speaking? Okay. 
I, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm going to be more consistent. In it. And I am work. I am painting too. So it don't look right. I might uh, reconstruct it. So it just is different. It is, it's all right looking. I might just restart everything. Welcome to the six part series on Dolly Mafia. Oh, um, we're still gonna do it. It's just a lot of you know personal things, and you can't. Ah, 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 ah. Good questions. Good questions. What happened to the six part series? There was plenty of time to do that. It was plenty of time. Had y'all sat down and got the business, okay? But again, that's Jaguar's company. You had to work on her time. Jaguar know you not them people, child. That's why I don't make no, her no difference when she gets to this six-part series. She know nobody's beating down the door to pay her $9.99 to subscribe to watch it either. What she would be better to do is get on her own damn platform Get it? I believe she's monetized. Why do I feel like she? Have any? Is she monetized? If she's not monetized, see if she qualifies for it. Because I think she do have members. Set up her memberships on YouTube at a reasonable price, nine ninety nine. It's funny people will pay nine ninety nine on YouTube. I think more so because you can trust it. Philadelphia, you have no way to delete the membership. Like, there's no cancel your membership. I think I said in the last video, the lady had to actually go to her bank and report the card lost to stop being charged because they never got in contact with her. So it's a very unprofessional site if I don't have an option that says cancel my membership. I shouldn't have to call to cancel it. Or if I do, you need to have manpower to pick up the phone and answer. Okay. Let's continue. That's real life. Like, even if you get into any jobs, that's nine to five. You know your personal life influence how you, what, what happens to you. Because you can't, if something physically happens to you, then you can't do anything about it. And a lot of circumstances, a lot of things happen and that hosted. That stopped a lot of things that was happening. So there's a lot of uh, rescheduling. So it'll still be, it'll get done. It just later you know like how covid stopped a lot of tv networks and stuff and getting their jobs done so go oh, ahead and jump hey thank you hey sassy i love you too well every lot of it's not as sad i just mentioned like human trafficking and all that stuff that's sadder. That's worse. It's a lot of things you can't stop and you can't stop. We got to put it into perspective what is really what people got to take account. That's what it's saying. Shari Jerry said, look into the Derwent ink tents, ink pencil. You will love them. I'm going to try them. Okay. Uh, Janice, that's how you say your name. Thank you. Thank you. How y'all day been? Enough about I. Yeah, shy. Like, I, I'm noticing, like, the, the pencils... Is like a good like it is vibrant as it's as vibrant as painting well the paints and I like it utilizing both. Do you talk to Sam much? Yeah, I do. He's a cool guy. Very intelligent. Sassy just relaxing watching Netflix. Um, what you watching on there? I 
Snapchat when your mom stops you. And I, um, I, I think she does, but I can't. I can't talk for her. Can't really speak for her. Yeah, how about Kelly? He said, "My dad. Um, I hope he'd be okay. Like I don't hate him. I love him still. He's my dad, and." Like, I hope, like, he gets better. I hope he gets better. Sunshine. They did, something happened to me that, I, it made me forget some things. Um, so we got to um, get my mental together and get my emotional uh, space together and then dig up what's back up in my memories. And something bad happened to me, so. Yeah, well. I hope she probably needs something to drink. I'm gonna ask her. The movie is called I See You. Oh, it sounds like a scary movie. What? Why she won't go get that woman some water? Some for a throat. Shit. I am. Thank you, sunshine. I went through a whole lot of shit. I've seen a whole lot of things. Like, even with the second family, I've seen, like, a side of them that wasn't really good. Like, I've seen my stepmom. Well, she's not really my stepmom. The lady they made me say as mom. i seen her hit her baby daddy in the head with a hammer. He got a dread, so... It didn't, it didn't kill him, the impact. But he was bleeding, and then we had to drop it away from her and she busted the windows and then while we was in the car and we went to the police and you know we called everybody but they didn't pick us up so we ended up going to another family but that lady might have been my real family I think because only me and Elijah was able to go with her and not uh, the other one David Yeah, 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 I'll do that. Yeah, shy. I think I'm trying to, because I'm trying to do it for my option, and I want it to be good, and it's getting more now. It's, let me, I need to put it back to being therapeutic for me to make sure it's like that again. But, yeah, so I said, I, so that night it was, traumatic so he ended up had to go to the emergency and we ended up getting split off split away again and I remember that he's like wow and it was funny like the um the age I was it was different but I'm um I will be be mentioning what I've been through and how I deal with certain things and along with my spiritual path so bells and what you say some parts are what you say are true and some is not so my my true situation from them being my actual parents they just happen to be celebrities and they they are one of the families oh. one of those families that my mom was a child she was a child when she had me she was a baby so it means pedophilia was involved and my family members covered it up just so they wouldn't go to jail oh jeez and because a lot of eyes was on them of course they they couldn't do what is kind of i think common in the black community in any community now actually 
young teen moms, it's a lot of things happening and the family don't don't have their kids' best interest and they just don't and then they have to deal with a lot of things by themselves. And that's what it is in my family. It just they just who they are now. And then it's not believable because they didn't say it and they had a good lie and they covered it up. And now I gotta go fix up now I gotta prove what's rightfully given to me and they put me in the other family. It was easier to believe that they was my parents because I seen it on TV and they was around more than my other ones. Well, actually Nana was at one point. I wasn't really around Zama that much. But Ooh, I would to be out with you. Is not he cousin or uncle? Yeah, because I think we was three of us, me, Elijah, and David that night. Oh. And me and Lydia end up going with this lady. But now I think about it, she might be a member of the Hawkins family originally. That's why David couldn't go because they, he ended up going with somebody else. Yeah. And Elijah is the uncle. He's my uncle. I'm older than him, but he's my uncle, though. And it's a lot of weird shit in the family. And then they have human trafficking families with each generation. So. Let me just say this. She, when she talks, this is, again, this is just my opinion. When she talk about things as like the industry that she's like got this insight on, talking about organ donation, sex trafficking, all of that. That's nothing new. That's not nothing profound. That's not nothing shocking that the industry does, has done, or whatever, the Illuminati's and all of this. She's not telling anything that's connecting her yet still as Aaliyah and R. Kelly's child. She just says those things because that's what everyone talks about when they speak on the industry so it sounds like you know what you're talking about it's a recycle conversation it's i don't get moved i don't get any kind of oh my god sex trafficking oh my god the illuminati it's it, it's not your story you know you need to say these things to um sound industry ish right now let me be clear because i don't want it to sound like i'm saying it's um uh, sex trafficking isn't real. That's not what I'm seeing. I'm speaking on her trying to tell us things that she's seen or she know. If you just Google what she said, we can all get up on the platform and make it our story. So it's like, girl, stop repeating yourself. I'm so sick of hearing the same thing. Get to the new shit, okay? Where that proof? Where the motherfucking proof? That you they child. So you, Nana and Zama, were never close? No. Not really, unfortunately. Like, when I, I asked Zama, did you ever hold me when I, um, did you ever hold me while I cried before? And she said no. And I'm like, that's a red flag because if you was my mom, you would hold me as a baby while I was crying. That's, that's not necessarily wrong. If your mother had a stroke, if she was disabled from the time that you were born, if she had weak, b brittle bones, your mother, because we don't know, mind you, we know she's had a stroke because you've said it and a couple of other people have con confirmed it. So, and she looks, she's in a wheelchair. She, it does appear she's sick, but we don't know how long she's been sick. So just because she didn't hold you, or uh, is wait is Zama the mama? I be mixing that. Or is Zama the daddy? Or was Otusu the daddy? It be a bunch of names. Either way, one of the parents could have been ill or disabled and have like I know a lady right now. Her arms barely do this. See see where my my hand is. Her arms barely get here. She can't hold her baby. She'll drop her baby. But I'm not saying. I'm just. It's like. And then, of course, I don't believe her. I completely believe this is a lie. 
Like, I don't believe her. I believe she was in a pretty decent family because if her family wasn't decent or good people in some way, when she first jumped her ass up on Twitter exclaiming this, her family ran like a couple of days later and got her committed, a 5150, is that what we call it? They love her and wanted to get her help. I I have that I have that TikTok that that I recorded of them coming to the door and she kind of like come in or no or go away. She was cussing them out or fussing at them and they were at her door. Okay, so they got you committed to get you help because they said, oh, she got to be crazy. She she got to be crazy. And they they try to get you help. Okay. But she never did with me. She's on my mom. She just, I just remember her showing up one day and then she was there. If we contact Aaliyah mom, would you talk to her? Yes, I got some things to say about her and why she, because I just found out that my mom raised me by herself. She was a, she had to raise me by herself. Shy girl, I will, I will. So Aaliyah was a single mom out here raising a kid and nobody I knew? I still have my test. Um, I want to film it for y'all so y'all can see it and then y'all won't think it's fabricated or anything. It's going to be a part of the documentary too. There's a lack of emotional connection with them. Uh... There's a lack of like, yeah, we'll talk to China. Maybe she did not get that herself. Okay, so we'll get this. Um, yeah, I have seen a lot of things and I experienced a lot of things. And then some of them I did block out, so I had to, I had to, when I was, I, a couple years ago, like four years ago, I was on my healing, I was trying to heal and unbreak traumas and learn things and be more knowledgeable and and I knew it was secret that I needed to uncover in the family well the second family but more more so with my real family baby do it for you yes we want to know but for your peace of mind yeah I know it is for my peace of mind too because I'm like dang like who am I like I thought I was African. I thought I well, it's I know it's not like a really different like it's a, it's not a different ethnicity, but but um because it's like continent really. But I thought I knew like I was this and I'm from this and this is I just to find out it was a lie and just to put me back in that old space when I knew when I, what I knew like the truth when I, at the time. And then they made me feel like I was crazy and I'm like now I'm standing on it because you're not about to make me seem like I'm crazy this time. I'm gonna die this time. Uh, shy girl. Uh, where's that mention? Is that the locations? It's build that the location. Is there? So the industry is full of weird motherfuckers. They very smart, so they know how to get away with a lot of shit because they're smart. Where the world is ruled by nerds and geeks. That's what they is ruled by. Is that we are packing? So do you feel like that is this? Yeah, I believe she is. Bell, I believe she is because the life that I have to live in my new destiny, um, it's gonna get. I already experienced a lot of things in my life that prepared me to now. And this is also now where I got to prepare for the future because it's always a future. So it's all, we all go through life lessons that fits us in our life. Hey, King, Payne, how are you, King? Jazz, don't come on here calling nobody a bitch. Bye-bye. Rude. We got blocked. That was aggressive. But she was just crying on YouTube. Bells, she got the right to cry. I had cried for my life, 
or for my mom's life, life that she lost, and then other people. Like the world is full of things that it, it's emotions. You can't control it. That's what I'm learning. I learned from my therapist. I learned from other people. Crying is a crime. You can cry because she's grieving. Your associates. I am being myself. What do you... Because I feel like y'all want... Not all of y'all, but some of y'all want me to be in a perspective that you might be used to. A perception. And I know myself. And this was going to be inevitable, whether I met Jaguar or not. I was still saying things on my platform about it, too, for years ago. Though, she's the perfect one. We have some, we have a lot of similar similarities going on in our life now. Going on in our life. Thank you, Bill. I'll do that. It's something I have to learn. I'm in my spiritual journey. It's going to help the future. Thank you, Conscious Angel. I appreciate I appreciate you. Your spiritual journey is not directing you to tell the truth. From both, they went in on a baby. They went in on a baby. But, um, the more obvious I look like my dad, for sure. Stop the lies. <laughs> she does not favor R. Kelly to me. Other than being dark skin, her features, she, I don't look at her and see R. Kelly. Not even because she's dark skin. She don't have their facial features. She doesn't look like them at all. And I, I know. I know genetics a motherfucker. You can have Excuse me. I got to get away. I'm so, so, so sorry. You can have two black people. Don't matter the color, light skin, dark skin. You could have two African-American people produce a very uh, different looking child. Ginger, red hair, green eyes, and be the color of, say, peanut butter. And their parents are two dark-skinned African-American. And we don't know where these green eyes come from or this red hair. But the DNA tells you that is their child. It's kind of like, well, I didn't look like my mom. And this, okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. But we're not about to, we're not going to play this with her. <laughs> I, I, You know, and I only brought up that example because it's always that one in the comments. You can't control your genetic pool. I, okay, I get it. I get it. I still don't accept these lies. I don't give a fuck what the genetic pool is. This is a bunch of foolishness. It's going to be a long journey, but worth it. Yes, consciousness. Well, conscious angel, I mean. I want her journey to be opening her mouth up wider when she talks. I am fucked to myself. This is this is something I need to go through in my life. I already the thing is before who anybody knew who I was or I knew other people and I still had to I I survive by standing on my standing my standing on my values, morals and integrity and I, people can't push that and take that away from me. I have my faith in God. I have faith in nobody else but God. And right, conscious angel. Like nobody can make or break me. Like I'm here because I want to. And and I'm learning things. I'm learning how learning to have fun. I'm learning how to you know, I'm working my vocals. I'm learning how productions and producing from behind the scenes. It's more things that I'm being taught that you don't see. I'm learning survival skills. We talk about the future as far as the world might, will end up like and how to survive that and how to make plans and be very strategic 
it's not just like the drama it is drama but people have drama and that's what people focus on but i'm learning more other things pretty girl i know for a fact you're not ali and r kelly's daughter but i know for a fact i am their daughter so to me you sound crazy I think you shy girl. I am. I'm learning me. I'm learning trying to find out because I have a lot of niche. So I just want to find the best one that's gonna overall and be impactful for the future because I want to help other people too that have been like me or other people that experience their own thing. <laughs> African queen, how, how, what else do you want her to do? Just the not cry in life? To not have supporters that say, that I, I want you to, I hope you'll be okay. That's being there, un united together. That's emotions. I mean, when I first got viral, I was crying a lot. And I'm not usually a crier, but it, it just it just emotions that you don't feel and you try not to tap into that and you sometimes you do it and that's what God you're not gonna tell the earth not to rain. You might be crying, but Usha, don't don't prophesy of Let her grieve. She's <laughs> grieving her marriage. We're gonna tell the earth to make you stop lying. And you plan to live on your own and get married and have kids. I lived in my own. I lived in my own and like before. And it's not like I never had, it just I did. And I was still going through things. I just go through things alone because I have learned not to trust a lot of people. And that's another thing with this trust factor. You are a stranger still to this family. Jaguar is a stranger to you. But you trusted her to bring your ass to Texas because she's famous. No matter about a has been and what music she ain't making. She is a famous celebrity. She just ain't out there in the industry. She got black ball, black wash, blacked out. Okay. But you still thought because you would see her jump on live with a, I think the last lady I saw her on live with was one of the girls from Floor Tree, who I really doubt gonna even connect with her on anything because I personally believe that these celebrities watch her. They're looking on social media. They see in the foolishness. And you really think that they're going to be like, yeah, come to our show. So the audience can yell out, go ahead. Just to, to be assholes. So you thought you had a, a money train or a way to, I don't know where you thought you was going to go. And it's got you nowhere, but basically homeless with Jag. House hopping, hotel hopping, bed hopping. Y'all all in the hotel together? That's another thing. You in a twin bed or a bit? What the fuck? I'm like the mama, her son, Jack, Legina. Jack, Legina, Sam, the mama. That's both. If she couldn't get her car out of jail, how the fuck is she paying for hotels room to room? Gotta be the mama. I don't know. But at the end of the day, you and a you jumped out the frying pan into the skillet. No, that's the same thing. You jumped out the you jumped out the neck bones into the smoked turkey. Okay, you went no no you you went from sugar to shit because your own house was your sugar. That was your space, your house. Yo, yo, whatever you was doing, you was in your shit. Why are you was in your space? Now you over here, child. <sighs> Fix it, Jesus. And now, uh, it, didn't, it, it didn't help with my mental. I hadn't seeked out a therapist. And just because I feel like I felt myself getting, you know, sad. And I talked to my therapist and 
you know, trying to get back on what makes me happy and what my passion is. And and after like discovering who my real mom is, it it I got the trauma that I buried as a kid. It came back out again, and I felt really sad because like dang, I barely had a the mom I thought I was my mom. I do. I I got. Let me pause it again. This acting shit, I do not like when people play around with mental illness and traumas and things like that. That bitch can conjure up a tear at will. Her voice can get shaky. She is a hell of an actor. But playing around with people who really do have trauma that's buried and something triggers it and bring it up, that's real. But you got people like her out here. It's hard to differentiate the fake from the real. She does not do a service to people who truly have mental things going on, who truly have trauma buried deep. Now, I don't know her personally, so I, honest to God, can't confirm she don't have any trauma. She's never been dealt with anything. I get that. But we can see the foolishness and the, 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 the fake and phony like Stevie Wonder can see it, okay? She irks my fucking spirit. Not my mom, and I, I didn't really see her, but I was okay with it because not like we had a type of relationship. It just she was there. The other kids call her mom, mommy too, so it's like that. Now I'm coming back to when I was a kid and had to go through what I went through, though, thinking I was losing her, and I'm like, did not want to accept that. I'm like, nah, dude, she's not my mom because my real mom, I'm going to see her again. And I didn't. And this is my truth, whether people believe me or not. I don't. I know for, for a fact that I'm their kid and I'm not, my chest story is not changing no matter, no matter how people want to manipulate the story in my life. Literally, nothing to manipulate. You're a liar. I'm going to make y'all a mod. It's no, nothing to manipulate. You're a liar. That's just the bottom line. Your truth so, is you like to lie. The fuck? I'm going to keep telling my truth. And I'm not backing up. And it is what it is. It is what it is. I hear that. So, but agree with my mom. Now I have to say, like, dang, my real mom, my mom actually died, and I don't have no, a physical mom no more. She's here spiritually, just. I'm like, just to find out, like, dang, your parents aren't your parents, and then you just have a different type of parent. Like, now you just got a past mom, and. Guy, you know, who her kids as parents. And that's what I get. And now I gotta explain myself because they're not here. And the one that could say it, he don't wanna say it because my mom was a kid and he don't wanna admit to that he abused a kid. Do they only let you put one moderator at a time? Because it's not letting me see it. It's not giving me the option to make somebody else see it. Yes, Conscious Angel. And that's what I'm learning because I was trying to learn how to find myself and then now I got to find who I am and feel like I have to be the perfect daughter to, you know, get my mom justice and then my dad as far as the, the unlawful thing they did to his ass. And it's like, dang. But I am working on myself and Jack has been helping me work on myself and that's how to... 
and I'm working on my memories, but I'm working on my mental and my emotional stability and learning new things. This is productive. God makes, God did things, uh, do things for a reason. Um, this is not productive. God did not say, get on Mr. Market's internet and tell lies. Lying is not productive because you have to keep up with the lies and you have to put one lie on top of the other to keep the lie going. This is not productive. The trolls that be in her comments that play with her head and make her think this shit is sweet. My, I applaud y'all for holding it down because I'm not going to play with her. I just go on her chat and look. <laughs> y'all up there, you look just like a layer. You're telling the truth. I believe you. I'm gonna make you a moderator because you're, tr <laughs> girl. Mm -mm. But this is not productive. Okay, just FYI. Y'all being mean. She just said her parents. But they, they. The thing is, they, they don't know the truth, and they go and hype for. Uh, or thinking I'm lying when it's actually I'm telling the truth. And now I got to prove it when other people don't have to prove it. But for people that have been adopted and then they find out, oh, you're not. Or when they say, oh, this is your parents and it's not your parents. Or this is your dad and that's not your dad. You got to find your identity. And it's like, wow. I feel like Tupac because he like had to wake up and see his daddy was like, who are you? And we're like, I'm your daddy. And like, what? It's crazy. It's like, damn. Damn. You believe in Jesus? I believe in Jesus. Jesus helped me a few times. I'm a couple of times in my life. My ancestor did too. My ancestor, as far as my mom, as an art, I'm probably my guardian angel and, you know, my great grandparents or my grandparents and, or any deceased loved ones that feel like they come in my life to help me when I need them most. Chazelle, yeah, and she's getting, she, I want her, and I believe that she will heal. I believe that. She girls, I'm not lying. They are gonna have to come back later when I tell the, when I, when I get them the proof of it. And then they gonna have to tell me. If they choose to. I'm sorry. Okay, the silence is awkward, honey. It's is there Bless any you, girl. They lie to they self. So when other people tell the truth, they think they lie. Yeah, conscious angel. I am. I am. I have something in the woodworks that y'all gonna that I'm gonna bring into presentation for y'all to see and it's gonna be impactful for a lot of people. And I can't wait. That's what I'm very excited about. And I'm just not saying out there for the negative people that I just want to take the energy and do something to it. And let me say this. I don't wish this girl no ill will. I actually would love to see her working. I would love to see her in her own place. I would love to see her thriving in a mentally sound space. Okay. Okay. Um, she was working. She's able to work. She's an able-bodied woman. She's an able-bodied woman. She knows how to work. I would love to see her 
step into herself because if you're still on this trip to prove that you're their child, you can do it in your own house. But like I said, I think she's stuck with Jag as a favor. I'm helping you get to the bottom of Aaliyah. Remember that video of them crying? <laughs> <laughs> what we still don't know what the fuck they was crying about still but you 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 let her stage that so you owe her you know you got to kind of see this through and you got some things planned for us no honey we we don't i i don't want anything i'm just a viewer i'm here to watch you do this thing that's it i'm here to watch you do your thing that's that's it. And African queen. But that's a life. Like you have to understand people are gunning for her. And people are gunning for her on behalf of me too, as far as they they want me back so they do certain things to her too. I thought I heard that, but I was hoping I didn't. So she's she's now saying that in addition to Jaguar having people coming after her, now people are coming after her because of Linguini. Because they know that's Aaliyah's daughter. We have to shut her up. Okay. Fuck it. And that is the truth. Ooh, they lied with authority. You I'm hear me? Music with Jaguar. Yeah. They lied with authority. <laughs> Not authority. Authority. Yeah, I heard about my dad too. Peace. Y'all, I'm going to give y'all the results. I'm going to give y'all. Y'all going to see me take the test. And y'all going to see the results too. But also, people also could tell the truth and let them know. Like, oh, yeah. She's telling the truth. Some people did already. Like y'all just don't understand. But y'all gonna understand. Who? 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 Who backed her up? Some people already did. Who are some people? Jag? Who the fuck is some people that said you're Aaliyah and R. Kelly's child that backed you up? Honey, name them. And don't name Jag. Or her mama. Mm -mm. No, no one's confirmed this. No one's backing this this up. Nikita, don't worry about my goddamn pimple. Why is he in a hospital? Blood clots. Girl, put some toothpaste on that the pimple. Hospital. That's old school. school. I don't remember if it worked or not, but. <laughs> People want to tell me what to do with my face. People want to tell me what yeah, to do. Yeah, I've been having more singing lessons. I'm not, I'd have other people that help me sing too. <laughs> I forgot about the singing lessons. <laughs> the, uh, is it funny or are you defending me? It's funny. Yeah, the fuck? <laughs> it's funny. Well, the way she did it was kind of funny, actually. Ooh, shit. The thing is, African queen, why not? Because you know what they do to people that they, they people don't pay attention to? They get them. And that's what they do. But to people in the public, you got to do, you got to not make it so obvious. This is why a lot of these rappers and stuff, they get away with murder. Because you would think like, oh yeah, they're going to retaliate. They can't do nothing to these motherfuckers. Because they got the people going to want them to, you know, get justice for these people. So, but they also do vice versa, do things to other people. So they can't do nothing yet because they got eyes watching them too. The feds. So, so of course, that's why I said when they try to get rid of me for telling my truth, after I went viral, they couldn't do nothing else to me because y'all watching me. So just imagine if it didn't work. What the where would I be at right now? Probably kidnapped somewhere. So, well, not kidnapped, abducted somewhere. Again, I mean, 
I can. They already, the thing is, they was already coming around there anyway. Yes, consciousness. She keeping me safe and from these other people. For real, shy girls, they gonna put up child support. Well, my mom been supporting me, my her money, her money since I was a kid. So, and my um inheritance. So. I just got to get my real identity as Love Lila Halton and put things back in my name. Well, I, I know you didn't just, I know you didn't just tell on yourself. I know you didn't just say you've been receiving child support, which means you've been getting monies from Aaliyah's estate, which you call your inheritance to take care of you meaning that there's some financial entity some bank somewhere that shows a transfer of funds via check cash app <laughs> oh god that is ridiculous as it sounds into, into your bank okay some bank that you have access to you've been getting money and even if it was given to your aka uh, quote unquote handlers it's a paper trail allegedly that can be traced and now you bring it up <laughs> <sighs> now you bring it up good day and goodbye ma'am well you ask your favorite rapper he knows what he do ask your favorite rapper tell her, him her, tell him her inheritance uh, he's so draining. He's so draining. Aubrey No. S. Marie is my good sis. She was, she's 32. She answered that question. If you go back, you heard me talking to somebody and you heard that's her voice. Been pretty lash. Well, who do you think you've been singing about? Who do you think you've been singing about? Go look at his work. I can't really listen to it without, you know, but y'all can, and y'all go, y'all go, y'all go do the dirty, the digging, and he can go out and say, he can come out and say, oh, you're lying. I wish that nigga would. I wish he is his ass would. Yeah, but she was singing about you. This nigga mean. This nigga mean. You don't want him to sing about you. You know how many times he bring up his exes and he want to be talking shit? He talks shit about me too. You don't want... He is Scorpio. And he ain't the only one. It's like, goddamn, stop putting me in your motherfucking music. Stop doing that. Ooh, child. I can't. She really thinks she up in a rapper song. And then it was, when it was sweet, it was more talented, of course. But now it just got me. You talk about her loss. Boy, you, I ain't losing nothing. I ain't losing nothing. You can't, you can't take what is not yours. So, it is what it is. No, he just like girls that look young or young. And that's what my father and him have in common. Ooh. 
Like, didn't you, African, didn't he, didn't one girl just went wild for saying that she knew him? The thing about with that girl, it sounded like some shit he would say. But he also have enemies that make him look, that do things to put him publicly down too. But I'm like, yeah, it's some shit he would say too. He didn't talk about he didn't mate, flew or whatever. Boy, you meet everybody. You meet everybody. It is what it is. He made himself a part of my life. Liking young girls is not legal if they're legal. But if they're not legal, then they're not legal. Don't, don't, don't to protect his ass. Leave his emotional ass alone for a while. Yeah, he's a water sign. He's a revengeful one. It's like, why do you want to control people so bad? Why? But that's that Pluto. That Pluto energy. Bells, it's probably more than 5,000. Yeah, Dior. That's why you make them wear condoms. And then he think it's cool to be like that. It ain't cool. Not, not willingly. I was, I was ready to turn for five years. The awkward silence. Yes. He ain't the only one, too. He ain't the only one. He ain't the only one. They all do that. And the bitches be freaky, too, actually. You be surprised. Girl. Yeah, and guess what I found out. And also look at their native chart, too. So... I'm not pregnant at all. I know for a fact. I, I want you to know that. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. And then they get mad because you don't want to do nothing. Yep. These niggas be for everybody. These niggas for everybody. So you've been around these ladies, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Well, because my parents are celebrities, so. Ooh. <laughs> because my parents so. are celebrities. <sighs> <Let you know. laughs> the audacity is strong with the nap. And they also, they, they know how to get to point A and point B very quickly they be going to these fucking uh, island parties you know about them islands the island parties these are the parties that they don't let nobody else know these they fly in and it's almost like Jeffrey Epstein's islands but then they have a different type of islands so islands that they know by different parties or what they throw and you, you will see it's a lot of celebrities there we do reading for friends. Um, I all of this jag talk. You all of this just jag talk. I just she needs some original content because this is not giving what it's supposed to give. I do do some readings for fun. Well, teach some, and then um, I'm gonna be started reading other people. Reading people. So if y'all wanna read, want want readings done. Hit me up and you know, uh, consciousness. Do you know how? Like, you learning, or did you know? Be careful, you guys, because they be taking people too. 
these people have families of families of recruiters, recruiters all in there. You say, I already told you. Uh, I believe you, Conscious Angel. I like your vibe. Out of my dating life. I'm very selective, like literally. I'm a hard uh, nut to crack. I'm a hard nut to crack. And then I'm automatically, I'm not really sociable that much. I know how to communicate very well, just being sociable. Well. What I like about her is she's not going to let you talk about her being dark skin. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying to record this. I got to get ready for bed. Y'all know your girl like her sleep. But I like that she doesn't let people be bothered with colorism, right? Being called ugly has nothing to do with her color. You can be ugly, light, bright, or dark as charcoal. And you can be just as gorgeous and sexy, white, bright, or dark as charcoal, okay? But people do deliberately go after her actual skin color, you know? making fun of her that way that's colorist i don't get down but i like that she will always speak up about the colorism other than that part she tells the truth on other than that <laughs> i get nothing nothing other people like i'm really a loner i'm learning now but so it's like that's why i am a lot of flatteries don't charge these batteries and if i'm not interested in a conversation i don't put into any conversation it's, flattery it's don't charge these something. batteries is I that our learn from what you're saying that's why i'm yeah, here listen but for the most part if i don't have anything added on to it i generally don't and it's <laughs> it's just me the dating pool is full of garbage you never say anything when you say nut B, you mean nut and two fist punching emojis. I'm a tough nut to crack. So I'm the nut. Try to crack it. I'm like a wall nut. You probably can't. You're going to need some help, though. That's what I mean. Oh, Giselle, you said you sent information about Vital Records. What is Vital Records? Vital Records is where you go get your birth certificate and death certificate from. We had one in Detroit. Consciousness, I appreciate it. I've been finding like new uh, spiritual teachers, like my psychic. I just had a psychic reading, and then I had one with the Baba Lao and uh, Tata from uh, Paulo and, you know, Larisha. So I've been diving into my spiritual bags so i would love to see your intake so we can do each other i just gotta make the time and because i've been um they've been saying it's uh, some things that i do need to remember or i haven't remembered and it's a lot of things where you can get a copy of your birth okay i put my name love by the halton to see if i can find them but hopefully they didn't steal it because these people that human traffic people they are elite so they have like hands on people's information even mine so they be trying to protect each other yeah consciousness i do call my ancestors i do i do i need to get back more into that like the offerings for them Caption this I did. Um, I learned a lot more things, so but I'll I'll go even more heavy with that. <laughs> Y'all, she ain't got much more to go. You can find it. I ain't gonna be I don't know my social. I got the fake identity one, but I'm two years older. She don't know and her social security number. Her, might not, but 
Okay. Oh, follow my YouTube, Legina Gold, and my my Facebook. I am uh no, Legina Gold. Too. I might be back on here though. I think it was to start it over. Okay. Okay. So when she said follow my YouTube channel, that was it. And she was saying she might be back on here. Okay. So that is um, her latest Instagram with foolishness, lies, and fuck shit. Okay. Um, honestly, what could the end goal be? Because once it's discovered that we're not <laughs> the love child, then where do you go? But we, just for the, for the fuck of it, for the fuck of it, let's say this test come back that she they child. I guess from there, she'll become famous overnight. Because it'll have to hit the news. It'll hit all the, we're the bloggers, but it'll hit the news, hit us. Everyone will be talking about it. They'll want to interview her, take pictures with her. Oh, you knew your visions. Okay, but that's 99.9% not going to happen. So when it comes out that, that's, that she's not their child, what is the end game? What do you do? Are you going to still go on your YouTube channel? Are you going to keep painting? Are you going to live with Jed? Y'all, that's it for this reaction video. Because I don't have time. The more I watch, the more I watch it. That's how I just be looking. Every time she opens her mouth, I be like, this, this isn't happening. That's not happening right now. You know, and when I watch her, it's, I'm, the, I'm in that spot, okay? Like, girl, fix it, okay? But I'm telling you, Legina, when she's alone, that's Legina. Mad that she ain't living that life that she thought Jaguar could provide, honey. You is definitely not in that spot. So that's it. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, thank you for being here. And be sure y'all get in these comments, talk y'all stuff. Let me know your thoughts and give some examples of what her end game could be, what she could do when she finds out that she's not the father. Should she just go back to Detroit, um, tuck her tail between her legs to go, or should she stay in Texas, get her own place, start a new life? Because honestly, I don't think she'll be well received back in Detroit. I can't see her walking to no mall, pumping no gas at the Kroger's or the food stamp office where she might be and they not recognize her and be like, you was out here embarrassing Detroit with your, I don't know. But that's it, y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Get Bye. this commentary.